Sell your investments to pay off your debt. All right, th that's a twofer. I tell you, man, I've been thinking a lot about this. A lot about this for myself. And uh, it's something I might actually entertain. I'm entertaining it. It's something I might actually do next uh, next year. Once the, because uh, the vast majority of my stuff is now in Roth IRAs. And, uh, and as such, I'll still have to pay a 10% penalty on any money I take out, but I won't have to pay income tax. I've already paid the income tax. Anyway, I woke up this morning. I do a lot of thinking, obviously. And uh, we got a rainy day here in Georgia. Uh, happy Veterans Day to you veterans. Uh, but anyway, I, uh, I do a lot of thinking in this regard because uh, it occurred to me last night or this morning, I should say. I wake up about 5.30 or so. And I just I go downstairs, I let the dogs out, you know, pee off the porch, that's what I do. And uh, I feed the dogs, grab a cup of joe, and I start reading. You know, so I say my prayers, start reading. Anyway, so I uh, just asking, it's like God, I just, I always ask to be grateful, to be have gratitude, and ask for direction. And, uh, and today I got something that said, I, you know, I believe in God. I believe Jesus was his only son who rose from the dead to open up the gates of heaven for all of us who choose to go to heaven. We can because of Jesus' sacrifices for us. And God sacrifices for us to send his only son. Now, can I prove that? No. But that's my belief. And, you know, be it as it may, I'll, that's what I believe. Now, something in, hit in my head divine intervention, the Holy Spirit, you know, I don't know, man, you know, freaking whatever it is, I can consider it the Holy Spirit. Josh, having investments and having debt creates two worries, two worries. And I was like, huh, all right, Holy Spirit, tell me, tell me more. When the market goes down, what's your first thing that you think about? Man. I just lost money that could have been used to pay off my mortgage. That's the first thing I think, every single time. So the market goes down, whatever it was, 2% on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, something like that. My very first thought was, man, I just lost money that could have been used to pay my mortgage. And then the next day I wake up, I say, if the market goes down again, that's more money I could have used to pay off my mortgage. All right. Part two of that is, I said, so not only am I worried about losing money that could have been used to pay off my mortgage, but I still have my mortgage, still have my debt. My debt hasn't gone down, but the money I had, I'm accumulating in which to pay it has gone down, if that makes sense. And that freaking bothers me more than I can, just going back to the nature of losses for the nature of winners. You always hate the losses more than you love the winners. It's just all there is to it, man. And when the losses happen, when you have investments, right, when you have debt, you hate it that much more. It's like, I should have just sold everything and paid off everything. Now, for me, I don't have enough to pay off everything. That's my issue. If I had enough to pay off everything, my friends, I'd do it. I'd do it. Two seconds, five. I don't. On top of that, I have everything in uh, pre tax not everything, I have everything that's subject to penalty because of my Roth stuff. You see what I'm saying? If I had no investments and no debt, I'd be a lot less nervous than I am right now. I have investments and I have debt. If I had no investments and no debt, I would be a lot less nervous. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. Now, my whole goal is to have my mortgage paid off in five years, man. You don't know if that's going to happen. You have no clue. I have no idea if YouTube's going to keep me on the freaking the clock. They might lay me off. I have no clue if people are going to hire me for my financial planning advice. I had a guy yesterday, two days ago, he's like, man, your fee's high. You know, is that a, just a suggested fee or what? I was like, dude, I just I lashed into him. I said, I can't wait to go to your business and tell you your fee's high. And uh, he said that context of uh, your fees high relative to other people, which is just stupid. And I just lashed into him. I said, dude, I don't know why I say lash, I just emailed him back. I said, man, I'm going to go in your business and tell you how high your fee is relative to other people, even though your fee is significantly lower than other people. 
and I, he wrote me back something I just deleted because I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear it. He said something in his email. Oh, I was like, Christian, man, I can't believe it. I said, delete. I don't want to hear it. I said, dude, you got millions of dollars and you're negotiating on a small fee. It's crazy to me. Crazy. You see what I'm saying? And I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to work with that guy. I don't want to be that guy. But to take a stand like that means I might not ever have a client again. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. And to take a stand, what if YouTube gets rid of my channel? I mean, that's, you see what I'm saying? What if, what if, what if? I don't know. But man, I, I am less worried about that than I'm worried about the market just getting destroyed and my debt carrying on. And that's, I'm telling you, what happened in 2008 is kind of what happened there. My debt carried on, the market got destroyed, and my job was at stake. And I just don't want to go through that again. You know what I'm saying? So it's, uh, you know, for me, it's a win to pay off everything and have no investments as opposed to not pay to keep your debt and have investments. So you might disagree with that, and that's fine. I haven't done this yet, by the way. I'm still invested. I'm not saying I'm good. I'm just, look, I, when I talk in this channel, it's a, uh, a stream of consciousness. It's cathartic. It lets me establish my own thoughts in my brain as I'm talking to the camera here. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't mean I'm going to do it. It just means, and people say, all right, but you said, I'm like, yeah, I get it. I said, that doesn't mean I'm going to do it. It just means I'm thinking about it. And it's a way of stream of consciousness. Believe it or not, a lot of the comments help me. Put me on a, 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 your comments help me as much as my videos may or may not help you. Your comments help me. You see what I'm saying? It's one of those things. It's a mutual arrangement. You know, you watch. I, I, I read what you say. You watch what I yap about. I read your comments. Anyway, just something I'm thinking about because, man, I tell you, if we go into this, this world a la Japan, Low investments, low inflation, you know, zero inflation, zero interest rates. You know, I'm not sure that'll ever happen, but still, you get what I'm saying. So I'm not saying zero interest rates. I'm just saying low growth. And you're still carrying on that that debt. Oof. Now Japan had low unemployment too, so you could get a job to pay it. But I don't want to go get a job. I like my job, which is doing this. And I can do this without the worry of a debt overhanging my overhanging me, if that makes sense. Anyway, just something I'm thinking about. So I'm going to go to Dunkin' Donuts, get a free donut for Veterans Day. My daughter said it's Veterans Day. You get a free donut. And uh, is that a dog? I think I see a dog of that uh, Forerunner. Hey, I can see some floppy ears. Yeah, yeah there he is. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can you see that dog in the window there? How much for that doggy in the window? Hey, look, let's see if you can see him. Oh, not really. Oh, man. Hi, baby. Woof. Anyway, so I'm going to go in there, get a free donut, work on my book, and uh, I'll see you guys later.